Hello friends and welcome to This Musical Life. Today I wanted to talk a little bit about the ups and downs of performing, specifically what has happened this week for me. So I've got a cup of peppermint tea. I'm just taking the morning nice and slow. I had a pretty rough week and I've got a candle burning. We're in our pajamas. So grab a cup of coffee, grab a cup of tea, and let's just get into it. I've got uh, this peppermint tea from one of the airport lounges. So <laughs> it's actually pretty good. Rishi, highly recommend. So anyway, I want to talk about the ups and downs because you do not have any ups without the downs and you do not have any downs. Well, sometimes you just have downs. So I think I want to just be really honest about my experience in this field and what you might not see behind the scenes when you're just looking at people's Instagram and announcements. A lot of times, your musician page on your Facebook, Instagram, on your website is sort of a highlight reel of what you're doing because that's the place that people go that want to hire you to see what you're up to, see what you're about. Often you're not going to see the hard things there. And since we're all on social media all the time, we are just inundated with success stories from other people. So I want to take an opportunity and show you a bit behind the scenes of a week that could be seen as successful, but was actually really, really tough. Yesterday and probably the days before that too, I was really struggling with fatigue, feeling like I was just working so, so hard and not getting recognition for it and getting rejections and just feeling super weighed down. Let me just bring you back to yesterday. So I woke up yesterday with just a pit in my stomach. And again, like just this anxiety I've been dealing with for the whole fall really just came back. And my husband came into the room and I just started crying. And I was just like, I can't do it. Like, I just, I cannot do this. I feel like I just need to give something up or give it all up or something needs to change because I was feeling so pressured that I wanted something to get in my way so that I wouldn't have to do anything anymore. This is where it could get a little dark, but I think Anyone that's been in those really stressful times, like when you just feel like there's too much, too much pressure, everything's just like pelting you at the same time, you'll understand this feeling. It's almost that like you wish like some car would hit you or like someone would break your leg. <laughs> like, I don't know. Does anybody else relate to this? Like just something that undeniably will put you out of the game <laughs> just so you can have a break. And I recognize that those are dark thoughts. And when I get to that point, um, I reevaluate, which is what I was doing this week. So yesterday at my voice lesson, I just broke down as we do in our voice lessons and just talked about how tough it has been working this hard for so long with little payoff. And so when I'm having these really dark thoughts, I'm like, man, something has to change. Like I've been through this before. I've dealt with depression. And <clears throat> as soon as I start thinking these things, I have to drop something. I have to make a change. So I was just talking about that with my voice teacher yesterday and just being like, you know what? I need to take some of the pressure off. I need to focus on some things that really make me feel fulfilled, that are more steady, and that I'm not just gonna feel that pit in my stomach every day. <laughs> so that night, I was supposed to sing in the semifinals of a competition at school. You know like when you sing for a competition or an audition and you're waiting to hear back and just that pit, <laughs> again with the pit, 
again, this pit in your stomach that's just like, will they choose me? Just waiting to see if you're chosen. And I am tired of that feeling. I feel like I've had that feeling just so many times of like, will I be chosen? Will they want me? Am I going to be the one? It has become to the point where I don't feel like I have autonomy over my own life. And so, you know, I was recognizing that, awaiting the results. And like, how do you deal with this? Like, how do you deal with things being out of your control? Eventually, I just decided, you know, I have to own my feelings about this because if I try to push them away, they're, they're not going to go away. I just have to be really honest about the fact that I want this. I want to advance. I want to succeed and I want to be chosen. And if I don't, I'm going to be disappointed. And just owning that <laughs> and dealing with it is super hard. It takes a lot of energy, a lot of emotion, emotional and mental energy to do that on a constant basis, to be honest with yourself and recover from both disappointments and successes. Because once you're successful, you are expected to have more. So it's super tough. And I got the email that I had advanced to the finals and I was super happy and like my mood just changed like that. And again, <laughs> like these little things that are out of my control are determining my happiness. And that's not cool. <laughs> so I don't know what the answer is, but I do know that I need to think about it and like make sure that that's not the thing that's driving my worth. And I would just encourage you to do the same thing right now because we're in just the thick of audition season. When I started this channel, I had like all these fun, cool ideas of like what I wanted to do, these funny videos, these really meaningful, inspiring videos. And like, as life has gone on, it's just, it's hard. <laughs> like, if I'm being really honest with everyone here, like, I want to show the real pieces of what it's like to try to make it and to try to build an operatic career. And I think this applies to a lot of different disciplines too. It's just really tough for a long time. And the persistence and the ways to cope with all this disappointment, like all of this is stuff we're all dealing with on a daily basis. And you just don't see it a lot on social media because that's not the place where you want to share that all the time. That's a place where you might get hired from. And of course, I want to be honest and authentic, but you know, I, I want a place where I can really sit and share what's really going on so that we can feel less alone. I feel less alone when I can share this with other people and that I know I'm not the only one going through it. If we can do it together, then I think that we'll all be a lot healthier. Also, if we can just be honest about what we're feeling, about the disappointments, about our own egos. I'm dealing with that a lot, actually. <laughs> just, you know, there's good ego. There's ego that pushes you. There's ego that gets you motivated and that helps you believe in yourself. And then there's ego that wants to appear successful and perfect and that you're proving the haters wrong. Um, and if that's your motivation, it can help a little bit, but it's not gonna sustain you forever. So just being in touch with those things, I think is super important for a whole musician that can have longevity in a career. Anyway, this has been fun. Good luck out there. And I love ya. It's gonna be okay. We're in this together and please reach out to someone you love if you are struggling. Okay, I will see you next Friday on This Musical Life. <laughs>